Eric. Now, how many people of you are in here are familiar with Chicken Little? Now tell me that's not how you felt the first time you came into this classroom over here and he hit you with what we had to do. I mean, my goodness, I felt like, oh my God, why am I in here? And why do I have to do this? But right now you see exactly why we had to do this. You see how simple it is for us to come out and speak to everyone now? Like it's really nothing. We're not no longer strangers. I consider you guys almost friends. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously, I mean, I take, uh, I'm glad that I actually took this class and I took the time out to meet each and every one of you. Now, as I go into my speech, I'm going to go ahead and rewind about a few speeches that I gave, my reaction toward those speeches, uh, um, possibly if town allows, because you know how I can go on and on about anything. <laughs> you know, a thank you to each and every one of you in my own individual way. That's why I didn't write those things down because I wanted to wait to the last day of class to actually say something positive about you guys. Why put it on paper when it's more heartfelt when it comes out of your mouth? And then third, I want to go into, uh, there we go right there. You better drop it. Go ahead and drop that. Okay, thank you. Third, I would like to go into, uh, going into, oh yeah, that's right, what I took from this classroom. Why not forget that? Jeez. Maybe I was on a roll. That's why. Uh, see, how, see how simple it goes? You, you're, you're on such of a move that you for, happen to forget what you really want to talk about because you have so much on your plate about the first subject. And that's what I'd like to thank Dr. Phil about. He allowed us to do that. You know, we, went, we came into this class like, oh my God, okay, I, how am I supposed to get a two minute speech in? And I mean now, Hell, we can speak for 15 minutes and not stop. Uh, but let me uh, get into what I, I plan to speak to you guys about right now. You know, my first speech, the inspirational speech, was my father. And I mean, I took that. He's the reason I'm doing this. He's the reason I, I didn't drop this class. He's the reason that I didn't stop going to class. I didn't want to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning and be here at 7.30 to go to class all the way until 3.05 and do it every day until the next year okay I've been in this class I've been in this program now for two quarters this is gonna be my third I have another 12 months to go and I have to continue to do this every day and I thank him for that I mean he showed me determination like nobody else it's my second speech the one I didn't get to do I mean I, I was upset about that but I understand his rules for that I mean in the job place you you, you know missed actions is a missed actions regardless of what happened and I, I understand that and my, what was my third, my fourth speech, why hire me? That was the worst speech I'd ever given in my life, all right? I bombed completely. I mean, how couldn't I speak for a minute and 48 seconds, all right? How, I only spoke for a minute and 48 seconds. I'm well past that right now. Jeez. <laughs> uh, the last speech I want to talk about was the, the speech about uh, medical marijuana. I mean, that really stood, uh, took a, a real strong, strong place in my heart through the fact that I told you guys both my grandmothers have Alzheimer's. And now, like I told you before, I'm not going for the legalization of it, but I believe that that should be an option. And I, I thank him, I'd like to thank Dr. Phil again for give, making me use my brain, making me search. You know, those parts that you don't use anymore, that you, you stopped using, it's like, why do this? I'm glad he turned that switch back on to me. Because now once I find a piece of information, I want to know everything about it. I want to know everything I can possibly know about everything, thanks to him. And I would like to now talk about you guys in a slow, uh, you know, a little short brief. <laughs> Matthias. <laughs> your stories and your, your storytelling ability is like no other person I've ever met. I mean, the way that you can draw us in and then make us laugh at the drop of a dime is classic. What's up, brother? I thank you for helping save my life in Call of Duty. You know, that's what my mom is right there. Yes. He didn't save, he saved me a few times online. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I would like to thank you for serving. My father did it, my grandfather did it, and all my uncles did it. They told me not to because of the way I am, but I thank you. If nobody else says it to you, I will. Jessica, my partner. <laughs> Three six, we did it. You know, I thank you for just being different. You know, being uh, being you. 
you know, that's, that's, I don't really meet a lot of people that are genuine as way the way you are. You know, you're caring about a lot of different things. And I like that. Ramey? You're the cool, you are, you are, you are a really cool person, okay? Like, I, when I first met you, I thought you were going to be quiet and all reserved. No, don't get it twisted, okay? She is not quiet at all, y'all. Really. You know, that's just an act. Yeah. Al, I thank you for your, 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 uh, your strong will. You know, your, informative, your, your information on welding, because I, I have also been curious about that. And your knowledge of that is, is more than anybody I've ever met. And I know a lot of people that have done that. You know, I commend you for, for your, what you've been doing and what you're doing right now. You know, my boss over there, Ron, MLR all the way, buddy. You know, I met Ron in January and I have to call him one of my close friends now. You know, I'm glad <laughs> we actually took this together, you know. Yeah. You know, and I hope to continue to call you a, a friend. All the time, man. Kate, Nally. Your speeches. Kim. Kim. Oh, Kim and Alice, sorry. <laughs> I'm kind of off right now. Sorry, I, I, this is heartfelt. So, your speeches are what the bar was set for, okay? Your speeches were the bar, okay? It's perfection in words. You know, and I, I really can't say anything else about it. I mean, Kim, uh, Allie, your age, it. it, it it reaffirms that there's going to be a good future. People your age doing things like that lets me know that we're going to keep going on. Andy. <laughs> that rocket of yours was something else, okay? <laughs> <laughs> something else. I mean, that was one of the coolest things I've seen in years, all right? Uh-oh. That's defensive over there. I thank you for being a mother. And I thank you for still doing the same, doing your thing right now. You know, all you mothers out there, I, I, I forgot to say this to all of you. I thank you for doing what you do because you guys are the you guys are, are breeding the future. The way a child is raised is how they see their parents re their parents act. And by you getting up every day and handling your business, they see that, that that that's how I'm supposed to be, and they follow that. So you know, the way you do things is the way that that's, that's how you're supposed to do it. I didn't forget about you, <laughs> Miss Christie. You are a smart ass. Excuse my mouth, but it's a good thing. Like, you, like the you think you're a real you're you're demure, no, and 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 real subtle. You're a strong person in there. The way you speak here after you after through the, the weeks and you spoke, that's how you are. That's your real you. Don't think that you're that timid mouse. No, you are a lion. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and third, I like to talk about what I took from this class. I can now, I mean, I can now walk up to anybody regardless of when, how long I've met them and how long I've known them and speak to them about anything. Like when I first got up here, I, I couldn't wait for the two minutes to be over with. I sat and I, I talked about my dad. It was, it was something I was, I, was, I was already knowing about. So it was easy for me to speak for a lot of time, seeing the light. Oh, gotta go. So I'll leave you with this right here. I hope in the future when I see you in this campus that we can have a conversation the same way we're having right now. <laughs>